Hey folks, I've been talking all week about how we were going to play Coffee Roaster and it's time to play it by Sasha and Sasha Games. This is the the Stronghold Games edition, which is quite a lovely edition. I know I've heard the purists go, I don't know why it was updated. Well, it's it's pretty. That's why it was updated. Okay, so there you go. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And if nothing else has changed, why not play a pretty game than an ugly game, you know? I mean, people are learning that. I've heard so many folks in the old video game that, oh, gameplay is better than gameplay outranks graphics every time. Well, now that you can have gameplay and graphics, why not go for both, correct? All right, so what we have here is we have our roasting board. Y'all will see that as we go along. I've played one game of this in analog form here. And I've played about three games of it on beginner level in the uh, iPhone app. <clears throat> I'm finding it's like a Nyrum. It plays about, takes about 10 minutes to play a game. And I found that that is a pretty good, a pretty good amount of time from when I'm sitting in the break room at work and, and uh, sitting and having a cup of coffee. You see over here, when I'm sitting and having a cup of coffee, I can sit and play a quick game of coffee roaster as well. So... All right, I'm not going to do like a games exploration or uh, uh, rules explanation. I'll kind of explain it as we go along here. Um, as you see, I've got the board set up. This right here is a wild card token. It goes in that spot right there. Uh, this game has both an, a beginner level and a standard level mode. As you see here, these are double-sided boards. Standard level has two weights. Uh, beginner level has one weight on each part, each part of this here. So, I always believe in, if you can, you know, play maybe a tutorial to start, but after that, play at standard levels so that you're not learning bad things. Uh, that's one thing about video games. I had the hardest time when I was playing Civilization because I used to play it on the lower levels all the time to try and, uh, you know, learn the rules whenever we were playing Civ 4 and Civ 5 and Civ 6. My friend Mindfiend and I, we would play on the lower levels, like the uh, Warrior and stuff, and Chieftain. Uh, excuse me. Play on those levels. And uh, discovered it was bad, because on those levels, stuff like barbarians would not attack your civilization. They wouldn't cross the border of your civilization. So you learn bad habits. Really bad habits that whenever you, later on you went to uh, play the real game, suddenly you developed these bad habits and had these bad mindsets, and it took a while to to uh, to get past that. It took a while to unlearn the bad stuff and relearn the good stuff. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to uh, have another couple of sips of my coffee. I'm going to make sure everything is set up for the first game. And uh, then, yeah, we're going to show you some Coffee Roaster here. Now, to start off in Coffee Roaster, you'll find that it comes with 22 varieties of coffee here that you can pick from. And they range, there's three different levels. There's, as you see, the, the light roast here, there's medium roast, and there's dark roast. And they have beginner, like moderate, and expert levels, except for the dark. The dark only has moderate and expert. We're going to start off with a Sao Paulo here. A light roast and a uh, pretty, uh, pretty um, let's say, beginner level to start. There's not a whole lot of things going in the bag that you've got to accomplish. It's from Brazil. Every... Um, type of uh, coffee card has a thing on the back showing what areas the coffee can be found in and just some some information about it. As this one says, scent of the ocean. In the southeastern part of Brazil, coffee is grown as an altitude of 1,200 meters and produced in large quantities. Some of these coffee varieties are rarities with a special feature of seawater flavors due to the proximity to the coast but not all of them leave the country since the Brazilians themselves like to consume half of their mild treasures. In the highlands, farmers cultivate very aromatic chocolatey coffee beans that are particularly appreciated because of the mild acidity and the high caffeine content. Make sure you don't roast the beans for too long so that their aroma doesn't get lost. So that is the type that we're going to do. It's a beginner level, light roast, 
As you see here, it's got information on the card. This is the stuff. This coffee roaster is a bag builder, as you can see. We've got our tokens here. We've got our bag there. And that's what we're going to be putting uh, putting things in and taking things out and making our bag here. And into that bag, you've got various stuff like coffee beans. you got different levels of coffee beans. In this case, we all start off, our coffee beans are all level zero beans. And as we take turns, we're going to roast them and raise up the levels of the bean. Beans go from zero up to level four. And then once you go over level four, they become burnt and they're ruined. So you have to be careful with that. Uh, we're going to put 13 level zero beans in there. We've got three green beans. That's the one down our hard beans. These are the ones that haven't really been roasted yet. They are hard. They still need to be roasted. So... Uh, those will be three of those. Whenever you roast them, they go from a basically a hard bean up to a level zero. And that little X, when we get to scoring, you see the little red X there. When you get to scoring, uh, those X's are going to count against your score. So we want to make sure that we can roast and, and either roast or not draw out as many hard beans as we can. There will be three moisture tokens in the bag, and when you pull out a moisture token, those they just evaporate off. They uh, get taken out of the game as you pull them out. There's going to be one bad bean. That is a bad bean that's either burnt or rotted or moldy or whatever, and it's never going to uh, never going to roast properly. And if you end up pulling one of those, we try to get rid of those. If you end up pulling one of those at the end when you're making your cup of coffee, it's going to be two points against you, as you see. And then you have your flavor effects. You have um, body, you have acidity, and you have aroma. And you're going to have two of the red, two of the green, and three of the blue. Basically, body, um, those you, you use these effects on the board. We'll show you there. But you also want a certain number in your cup. Like at the end, whenever we, when we, you know, we're going to uh, pull these out, we're going to roast them, we're going to pull them back in the bag, pull more out, roast them, change the values, put them back in the bag. And whenever we think we're, whenever we think we've got a good combo in the bag that we can meet the scores, at that point, we'll make the cup. And this right here is where you make the cup. You'll drag the stuff out of the bag and you'll put them on the little circles on the cup here. And you're trying to reach a certain score. In this case, we're trying to get 14 points. So we're starting out with a whole bunch of zeros and some minuses in the bag, but we want to roast it and raise these values up until we can draw out 14 points worth and put them in our cup here. So that's what that is. And in addition to that, we want to try, we'll get extra points if we can put a green one and two blue ones into our cup. So as you see, we're going to have two red, two green, and three blue. So we'll be able to use two reds without hurting our cup, one green without hurting our cup, and one blue without hurting our cup. We'll still have those in there that we might be able to draw out. In addition, there's a wild card here that we can get by trading in a zero and a one. And in addition, we can trade in some effects and get another wild card token here that counts as one of each. All right, so there we go. That's giving you a rough estimate. Basically, it's a bag builder. We're going to put all of these in the bag. And that's what you see there. 13 zeros, three hard beans, three moisture, one bad bean, two uh, body, two acidity, and three uh, aroma. All are going to go into that bag there. 27 tokens. And then we're going to draw out a certain number. We're going to do what effects we want to do. We're going to roast them, which is going to increase these zeros. We'll go to ones. Ones will go to twos. Two will go to three, etc. And when we think we have a good number that we think we'll be able to draw enough out to reach 14 points, we're going to stop roasting there and build our cup. So that's coffee roaster. Um... So like I said, we want to get 14 roast points and we want to get a green and two blues out of the bag. So that gives us a little bit of playing around we're going to do. Uh, the other thing is, this right here is the temperature. I think it's this, this is called the temperature token. You see where it's on the temperature dial here. It starts off, there's a number of places it can start based on how much moisture is in the bag. We've got three moisture, so it see it's pointing at the eight. But in case that wasn't there... They're marked. One to two moisture goes, starts at nine. 
three to four, start at eight, five to six, and seven to eight. If there was an eight, we'd start down at six and we'd slowly build our way up until we got to 14. All right, folks, so I'm gonna throw these in the bag over here and give them a good jumble. Oh, the other thing, and there's a whole bunch over here as we say we can trade them out. As you see, we'll trade zeros out for ones, ones out for twos, twos for threes, threes for fours, all that sort of thing. Um, but one thing to say, they do not come in these little, these are coin capsules. The tokens are little cardboard, they're little oval cardboard tokens you see inside here. Um, as we play the game, as when I got the game, I put them, because this is a, a bag builder, it's a lot like, uh, Arkham Horror. Y'all remember my Arkham Horror game right over yonder? If y'all remember the time that I actually had it on the table and was playing it on the table, I had all the Arkham Horror counters in coin capsules as well, because the games like that where it's kind of, it's, it's the same as sleeving your cards. You'll remember if you have a card game, let's say like a Nyrum or Fallout Shelter, where you're constantly shuffling decks and that sort of stuff to keep the cards from getting wore out. You put them in the plastic card sleeves and that protects the cards. Same thing with the tokens here. When you got something like a bag builder, something like this game or something like Arkham Horror, where, uh, or Arkham Horror, the card game, um, where you're constantly pulling tokens out of a bag. You don't want to wear the tokens out, so you can buy these coin capsules that coin collectors do and put them in there. And plus, it just gives you a, a nice level of clack. Everybody likes a little clack, you know? It's like playing... It's like playing a jewel or playing hide, you know? It's nice to have that, that nice clack in the bag there. It gives it a nice kind of auditory uh, response along with the tactile feeling here. All right, so I'm going to get all these in the bag, get things going, and then we'll explain what's going on here as I'm drawing them out and as we're using them on the board, okay? So let me drink another line. In fact, I'm going to finish off my coffee over here, and then we'll get started into the game proper. All right, the tokens are in the bag here. We have built our first bag for our first, low, first round of roasting. As you see, based on, as I said, based on how much moisture is where you put the, the uh, temperature token, and we're sitting on eight. Okay, we start right here. So first round, we're going to draw eight tokens out of the bag. So without looking, you draw eight out, and we've got a zero. We have got a hard bean. That's good. We can roast it to get it to be a, a zero this round. We got another zero. We got another zero. That's four. Good. We're going to have a lot of beans that we're going to be able to roast this round. We got another hard bean. I drove too many out just then. Let me throw them back in the bag. I'm going to swap hands as well. So that I'm not casting a shadow over the stuff every time I pull this over because my light is over there behind me. We've got a moisture. Is that six? We've got a body. And we got one more. And our last one is another zero. So good. All right. We've got four zeros. Those, when they roast, they will go up to ones. These two hard beans will go up to uh, zeros when we roast them. The moisture, every time you pull a moisture, you get rid of it. You throw it back in the box. But what they actually recommend is to put it, put anything that you get rid of up here next to the card. Remember, you've got 27 uh, tokens. 27 that you put in the bag. So this reminds you what you've taken out of the bag and what's still in the bag to help you get an idea of what kind of odds you've got going on, okay? So, as I said, the original, we're shooting for a roast of 14, and we've got zero in the bag right now. If we continue to roast, we all these will go to ones. Let's see, is there anything we want to use the red for? Nothing that we want to use the red for right now. I am thinking I am going to take one of these zeros. I'm going to put it right up here on the board. Anything that you play to the board is, it doesn't go back into your bag. You know, it's on the board permanently. But if, for instance, here, if we put a zero and we put a one, we get a wild flavor token. 
and the flavors are used for these different effects here and as you remember on the card we have to have a certain number of, of flavors in our roast if we are in our cup if we want to uh, get the, the bonus flavor points um, I'll show on the screen in fact I'll show y'all exactly I'll tell y'all how much exactly we can get the uh, highest score um, I'll have red text throw the highest score that you can get on a Sao Paulo if you do everything perfectly. So if you want the extra flavor points, you definitely want those there. Okay, so right now we got a zero. You can build these up over multiple turns. They don't have to be laid down on the same turn. None of these do. So right now I've got a zero. Uh, next turn, once I roast one of these up to a one, I'll be able to throw a one up there as well, and I'll get this, and that'll go in my bag. The extra flavor token okay so i think that's all i want to do right now i don't want to use these the other thing with these flavor tokens are not only do you want them in your bag but you can also use them on the board here for immediate effects and long-term effects that go into your cup so it's always a balance of whether you're saving them for you know how much do you save to go into your cup and for the final scoring and how much do you use for bonus effects and stuff so that's kind of a balancing thing as well. So these are gonna go back in the cup. I'm gonna roast again. You can stop roasting at any time and try to build your cup. It would be stupid here because we don't have any points whatsoever right now. You know, we're trying to get to 14 and our bag has zero. So it would be stupid to stop roasting. So we're gonna roast again, which means these are gonna go back in the bag. But in this roast, these three will turn into one. So I'll take them away now. Okay, those will go back in the box and we'll pull out three ones to put here. So we've roasted those beans. These two, we're getting rid of two of our three hard beans here. They go back in the box. And then, where's that? That goes over here. Yeah, that's where they are. So those two go back in the box and they get replaced with zeros. So they still don't score points, but now they can be roasted. So we only have one hard bean left in there, only one that won't be roasted. So there you go, we have increased our roast by three. So there's now a score of three that's in the bag. So you can use this track to help keep track of that. So now we move it up to three, and that's called the roast track. That now tells us that we have three points in the bag. So now I'm gonna put these back in grab them they will go all back in the bag except for minus the moisture you know we never never put moisture back in the bag it always gets burned off give it a good shuffle a real good shake like i said here lots of beautiful plaques over there all right and then this this will now go up to nine we're going to roast again so we'll go up to nine and this tells us this time we're going to draw nine of them out of the bag so I'll go ahead and get that done, get them laid out here, and then I'll show y'all what we drew out for this round. All right, folks, this is what we drew out for this nine. Um, we got five zeros, so those are going to roast up nicely. We've got a moisture. We'll go ahead and take it out, put it up here. Remind us we've burned, we've evaporated off two of the moisture now, so now there's only 25 uh, tokens in the bag. And then we've got three ones. We didn't draw out any flavor this time, any of the flavor effects, just beans. So everything's going to roast up nicely. We will take this one. I am going to place it on the board here next to the zero. So now we've got a zero and a one. So we'll get to put that token into our bag. So we got the wild card. But since we've also lost a one, I'm going to remember to turn our roast down to a two to help remind me of that. So now, there we go. Um... Our roast is only a two. There's no way we can get uh, 14 points in our cup here. We know when we've only got two in the bag. So we're going to roast again and roast these up. Alrighty, so what we would do with this now is that all of these, we've got five zeros that are going to be replaced with ones and two ones that are roast up to two. So I'll take those first, the two ones, and they will go to twos. There we go. Let's knock it up by two here. So that takes us up to a four. 
and then these five zeros will all be replaced by ones. And three more ones. Let's get them out of the box. One, two, and three. And these will all go back in the box. And we are. So there we go. So these five went up. So let's add another five. So our roast level has quickly risen up to a nine now. Okay. So those are all going to go back in the box because we're going to roast again. And as we roast again, as we go up to the next turn, we're going to go to 10. And 10 and 12 are kind of like the danger levels. When you go up to 10, you're going to add two smoke into the bag, see? Because you've heated, you know, you've hit a critical level of heat. So these two smoke are going to go in the bag. And we want to get those out too because they've got the X's. They're just like the bad beans. Those two are going to have X's on them as well. So we want to make sure we either get to throw them away or that we get to uh, get rid of them rather than have them go in our cup and reduce our score. So I'm going to put all these back in. And then next time we will draw out 10. Okay, and the other thing that two shows you that every time you roast, whenever we roast next time, everyone will go up by two. So instead of just roasting, if we say roast, instead of a two becoming a three, it'll become a four, and the ones will become three. So roasting is going to be really fast on this particular level. So I'm going to throw these all back into the bag, and then I will draw out the ten for the next round, okay? I will see y'all then. Right, welcome back. As you see, this is the tin that we pulled out of the bag for this roast. First, we're going to get rid of the moisture. Throw it up here so we've gotten all the moisture out of the bag now. So there are no more of the water tokens in the bag. Next up, we decide what we're going to do. Now, we know the two is going to roast up, but remember, we're at level 10, so everything's going to go up by two. So the two will turn into a four. The zeros will turn into twos. This will turn into a three. This will turn into a zero. The hard beans always only roast up one. They're the exception to the rule. They only go to zero. So we know that's going to be a zero. But we also want to try and use a little bit of our effects this turn. Now, if we had pulled out smoke tokens and stuff, we would use this one. This lets you discard things that you don't want, like the bad the bad beans and the smoke and all that. So we could have used that, but we don't have anything here that we want to throw away. So I'm thinking the next best thing to get is this tray. As I said, when you're drawing, when you get to the end and you decide that you want to draw stuff out of your, out of your bag and make your cup, things that you don't like, if you want to draw out a smoke, you can throw it over here instead of throwing it into your cup. If you get this, if you buy this card, then it goes down here and it gives you two extra spaces to throw away stuff. So that's a good one to get. So I think since we know that we're going to roast everything up, I don't really want this turning into a four because if it roasts up again, it'll burn. So I'm gonna use the aroma here. And one, we're gonna put it, whoops, one, we're gonna put it right here, you know. We need two tokens to get both of these. So we're gonna put that there, and then we'll need one more token to get the extra tray. But anytime you do this, you have to use, and this shows one bean turning into two. You know, the aroma is dispersing. So we're gonna take this two, and we're gonna break it into two ones. If it was a three, we could break it into a two and a one. If it was a four, we could break it into two twos or a three and a one, whatever we wanna do. So we're gonna turn this into two ones. Okay, so we haven't changed, we haven't changed the roast level, it's still the same there. Okay. And we could use anything to get that other one. It could be a green one, it could be a red, it can be a blue, that's what that means. It can be any of those to get that other, uh, other thing there. Um, Hmm. Hmm. Do we want to roast again? I think.
think we're going to roast again. We would throw a red up there, but throwing a red up there means that we have to increase two to make one. Can you increase zeros? Can you add a zero and a one, or does it have to be a one? I don't know. I want to roast up those. So there's nothing. If we roast it, you know, it'll, we'll get these twos and then they'll become a four. So at this, now we're not, we're just not going to, to do it. It would be great. I wish we could get that thing. We're just going to have to hope that we get either a red or a wild card or something else next turn and uh, use it to, to get that tray. So we're going to roast these. The two zeros are going to be replaced with ones. The three ones, these three ones are going to be replaced with twos now. One, two, and three. No, 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 no. Those three ones, they go up by two. They're going to be replaced with threes. My bad. My bad. So let me get threes out of the box. All right, one. two, and three. So yeah, those have been replaced by three. So we've gone up by six. So we're now at a roast level of 15. The two zeros are gonna go up to twos. So we're gonna put two twos out here. Yeah, that's correct. Now those two go up by two. All right, so we go up another four. So we're now on 19. The hard bean roast up to a zero. And I said, that's the exception. That always just becomes a zero. Okay. So we're now sitting at a roast level of 19. Okay, we know we're going to roast one more time at least. Probably only one more time. So that roast level will continue increasing. Nothing else that I want to do out there. So these are going to go back into the bag. We'll shuffle them up. And then next time, we're going to draw out 11 tokens. And I think that'll be our final roast. Okay, so I'm going to throw these back in the bag. We're going to draw out our next 11. And I will see you when that's done. We have drawn my 11 tokens for this turn out of the bag. And in answer, I looked up in the rules. No, you cannot use the, the body effects. You cannot use any of these effects on a zero. Um, it has to be an actual token with a value. You know, you can't add, you can't take a zero and divide it into two zeros, or you can't take a one and divide it into one and a zero. And the ones that add together, you can't take two zeros and turn a zero. It has to be something that the value will actually change on. Um, so, as you see, there were no moisture, so we don't have to worry about that. We've gotten a smoke, which would be nice to get rid of, but I would rather actually use this wild card that's what we're going to do first. We're going to use this wild card. It'll go up here, and that will give us the tray. And these five tokens here are, are randomized at the beginning of the turn. At the beginning of the game, you randomize them and lay them down at random. So it doesn't always, so you don't always, you know, a blue and a red doesn't always be a three. It could be a tray. And we're going to put it down here. And that will let us know that we have two extra discard slots whenever we're making our cup, which is coming up next. Okay, I'll explain these right quick. Uh, this, if you get this token, that gives you a three. And that goes here in the cup. If you draw it out, that I mean, that automatically goes into your cup. And you'll start off your cup with a three. This right here is a body. This counts as a wild card. Some actually say that you have, it calls sweetness is what it says. Some of them want sweetness in the cup. So you have to try to get that and it goes here. If it is a cup that doesn't require sweetness, see this one doesn't have sweetness, it just counts as a wild card. It can count as a red, a green, or a blue. Okay, this one right here lets you swap. It goes down here and what it does is once you filled up all your cup, you can, if you want to, take two of them, throw them back in the bag, draw three out, throw away one, and replace two of them, okay? Um, this one right here, if you draw it out, which is this one, 
you put it here and that tells you with these two whenever you lay a card down here you're going you draw two out and choose which one so instead of drawing one out put it here you draw two out and pick which one you want to put there okay so that helps you modify your cup and build your cup up a little bit this is of course one of the most important ones it gives you the two extra discards so it's a good one to have Otherwise, there's nothing really else we can do. We just have to roast. This is gonna be my final roast. I'm not gonna go any further. We're definitely not gonna go any further and throw those three more smoke in the bag. That would be a disaster. Um, so, let's turn the three into a four, since it only goes up by one. The three will become a four. So I will throw it over there. And, come on. get one out there we go so the three goes into a four the twos both become threes that's a three and that's a three let's put them over here so i know what i've increased all right so my score has gone up by three so far i'm at 22 all right, the ones are going to become twos. So three ones will go away, and I'll throw three twos in the bag. So my roast score has gone up by another three, so that's going to be 25. The two zeros are going to become ones. So it goes up by two more, so now we've got 27. And these two just stay. You know, you don't throw this one away unless you play something to make it throw away. Here's the immediate effects, too. We already got the wild card. If we threw a red here, we could um, draw two more out of the bag on that roast and roast them. Uh, any color can be put here, and what you do is after you draw them out, you throw two in the bag and pull out two more. You throw a blue here, that lets you pull out five, three of them go back in the bag, two of them go in the trash, and then this one down here just allows you to trash, I think up to three, at least, it lets you trash stuff anyway, maybe up to three, maybe there's a limit on it, I'll have to take a look and see, red text can tell you that. So there we go, all these are gonna go back into the bag now that we roasted them up, and that is gonna be our final roast. Then we're gonna pull stuff out, and we're gonna see if we can make our cup. So, I am going to uh, throw those in the bag, Go get me another cup of joe, and we will build our cup of coffee at this point. All right, everything is back in the bag. We're gonna see if we can build our cup of coffee here now. Oh, and I was noticing just like these are double-sided, this is double-sided too. You flip it over, and it shows you the bottom of your cup and saucer there. Isn't that cool? That's what I said about production. That They didn't have to do that. They did not have to make this so nice. Didn't have to put anything on the bottom of this, but they did and it is gorgeous and wonderful. Good for them. All right, folks, we are aiming to get a roast of 14. That would be a perfect cup. We can get points for anything from 11 to 18. As you see, it's a sliding scale. If we get 14, we get 10 points. 15 is seven. 18 is 4, 11 is 4. So you see, those are our roast points. So that is what we're going to draw the bag. We draw one out of the bag, and we go from top left to cross, and then we just keep going until we filled it all up. We definitely want to fill that up so we don't have the five, five minus points. Okay, remember, anything we really don't want can go over here in the discard tray. We have five discards. Let me go through a bag. Let me get the first one. The first one is red. All right, we don't need red flavor. Red flavor doesn't help us any at this, at this point in time. So I am going to throw it over here. That'll be our first discard. Not really the kind of thing I'm hoping to use the discard trays for, but hey, uh, that helps. All right, next up, a blue. We need blue. Okay, we got to have two blues to get full flavor points. So blue will go there. That is the first one in our cup of coffee. Next up is going to be a three. Okay, so we've got three of our 14 points in our cup of coffee. 
let's go for the next one. Next up, we have a green. We want one green. So we've gotten, so far we've got aroma, and now we've got acidity. So good. Need another aroma, another blue one would be a really nice one to get out of here. What do we got? We've got a one. Okay, our roast is now a four. So we're about a third of the way in points. That's good. What's up next? Oh, a smoke. We don't want the smoke in there. We'll throw it over here on our discard tray. We know there's still another smoke in there. We know that there is, I think there's still a bad bean in there too. I think that's it. I don't think, I think we roasted all of our hard beans, but there should be, I think there's another bad bean. And there's another smoke in there. Next up is a two. Okay, so we've got our points up to six. Still not up high enough to actually score any points for it. But we've still got five more that we can draw out of the bag. And another two. Okay. We're now to eight. Let's get some more high points here. Three, there we go. We actually are scoring points now. That's a six, that's a 10, 11. All right, we're actually on the roast. We're actually gonna score points now for the roast there. So that's good. I have had cups of coffee that were so weak we didn't even score any roast points. Next up is a two. Right. So that takes us what to a 13? Yes, it does. We got a 13 there. And we'll actually get a few skill points as well. And the last one is a one. Whoops, not the last one. We've still got this spot down here, don't we? All right, what's that give us? That gives us a six, that gives us a 12, that gives us 14. We are exactly where we want in Royce points now. So we don't wanna put any more numbers. We don't want any more numbers. What we would ideally like to get now is a blue. We already used our wild card. We used one blue. So we know there's two blues still in there and we still got three toss away. So we can go four different things until we see if we can get that blue. Yep, smoke. We'll throw it away. Let's see, we gotta have two more. We got a four, that's way too high. We don't wanna make our coffee that strong. All right, the penultimate draw. Three, nope, we don't want any numbers. Oh, give us a body, or give us a body or a zero. I think there might still be a zero in there. Last draw out of the bag is a red. All right, the red has to go there. Didn't want a red, but it's going to get rid of the five. It's not going to give us any points, but it's going to knock off those five minuses there. All right, let's score our cup. First, we're going to score for, um, and it. And, and now, I'm going to use this track up here for scoring. So we'll move it down to zero. Okay, we're going to add up the points first. We got a three, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So we score ten points for getting the fourteen there. Alrighty. So we'll move the marker up to ten. Good. Next up, we look at flavor points. Did we get all the flavor in the cup? We wanted a green and two blues. We got a green and one blue, so we got two of them. So two of them gives us three points. Um, to see if you get one, you get one. If you get two, you get three. If we got all three, we get six. So three more points. So that now goes to a 13. Next up is skill points. That's by how many... Uh, of the same number. If you get three of the same number, 
you get one point. If we got four of the same numbers, you see one of the same two don't count. Three of the same number count one point, and we've got three twos. And that's the only one that we have. So we get another point for skill. So that will go to a 14. And then you've got the minus points. Um, we don't have any minuses. None of those there, no minuses. So our final score here is a 14. All right, that's what I scored the last time I played the, uh, last time I played the Sao Paulo on the app, I scored a 14 as well. So there you go, not too bad, not too bad. We made a nice roast. It's pretty good flavor, more skill was okay. So we'll say this is a, this is an average, average decent cup of Sao Paulo coffee. It's not exceptionally flavorful. It wasn't made with exceptional skill and all, but it, it, it got the job done and it's a decent cup of coffee. You wouldn't mind drinking it. All right, 14. There you go, folks. That is Coffee Roaster. Uh, nice fun game. Nice little solo game. And as I said, especially on the app, it's just like a Nyrum. I will be playing quite a bit of this when I have a little downtime. When I have five to ten minutes to kill sitting in line or sitting in the parking lot or waiting for my wife to get ready or whatever, I will be doing a little Coffee Roaster. So that is the third game in my a game a week for the year so thank y'all for coming along hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you next time bye bye